Welcome to Flutter Teacher. We already covered different constructors of list view class. In this session, we will deep dive in list view dot custom constructor. So without wasting time, let's get started. What is list view dot custom? It is the name constructor from list view class which creates scrollable list of widgets. It takes sleeper child delegate which provides the ability to customize the additional aspects of child model. For example, sleeper child delegate can control the algorithm used to estimate the size of children that are not currently visible on the screen. It allows developers to define custom sleeper layout for list view widget, which is more flexible and efficient way of rendering large data sets. Now, why to use list view custom constructor? Suppose we have a list of 1000 items that needs to be displayed in a list view and each item contains complex layout with different sizes and shapes. Rather than using list.builder to create list of explicit widget, you can use list.custom to define custom sliver layout that can efficiently render the complex list items. We mostly use this constructor when children are not known at compile time and when list is nested inside another list. Overall, listview.custom is more flexible and powerful alternative to listview.builder constructor, which can provide significant performance benefits in certain scenarios, such as when rendering large data sets with complex layouts. How to use this constructor? Children delegate is a required property in this constructor that takes sleeper child delegate, which makes it different than other constructors of listview class. Sleeper child delegate is optimized for performance and allows you to create large list or grid of children widget without impacting the performance of application. Basically, Sleeper Child Delegate is an abstract class that defines the interface for creating and laying out child widget within a sliver. Sliver Child List Delegate and Sliver Child Builder Delegate are most common concrete classes for Sliver Child Delegate. All the remaining properties of list dot custom are similar to that of other constructors of list view class. We already covered them in the list view video. If you want to learn them, please check out the video. Link is there in the description. Now let's talk about this sliver child list delegate. It is used when we have a fixed list of children widget that do not change. It takes a list of widget as the positional parameter that creates and layouts each widget based on the layout constraints of the sliver. You can see here for this sliver child list delegate, I have passed the list of widgets here using the function called get item. Get item is our own function which I have defined here that takes the index of element and it will simply create uh, the box with blue color using this container and some properties here. So I don't want to focus on the design part. My intention is to just explain how this sliver child list delegate works. And there are uh, so many properties here. You can see, like, uh, say, add um, automatic keep alive, add repin boundaries, add uh, the semantics index, and all the remaining things here. The most important thing that you should understand is the um, uh, positional parameter, which is actually the list, and that takes the list of widgets. Now, let's understand this sliver child builder delegate. We use this when we have dynamic list of child widget that may change. It takes a builder function, you can see here, and which is the positional parameter that creates the child widgets as needed based on the index. It allows you to create large number of child widgets without creating all the items at once, which can improve the performance of course. Now in order to have a dynamic list of items, I have a class called user and using this user, I have defined a list of users that has the name, uh, the provision and its image. You can see here, I have imported this file in our code and in order to use that uh, your list of users here, we simply have this uh, list of custom. And here I'm using the sliver child builder delegate. And as we know, it requires the builder function. So I have this builder function here. Obviously it takes the build context and index here. You can see here, it also has a parameter that allows us to define the count using the child count. And here I'm using the users.length so that uh, I can create all the elements with respect to the number of uh, elements in that uh, users list here. And you can see here, simply I'm returning the list style that creates this image, uh, the name of this user and uh, simply the profession. Okay, it is just a part of uh, the simple UI here. So uh, if I scroll here, you can see I'm getting all the elements here. That's it for this video. 
see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get the latest videos